It's Friday, time for another weekly update. This week, I read to the second graders at Gibbs Elementary School, and I visited East Knox Elementary to talk about a great program they are doing that's based on Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I also toured Aquachem, which is located in the Forks of the River Industrial Park. Aquachem is one of the world's leading manufacturers of water purification and desalination equipment. Smart Water is one of their clients, and if you've ever had an IV, there's a good chance the water in the IV bag was purified using Aquachem equipment. You'll also see their equipment on offshore oil rigs and on United States Navy ships. About once a quarter, I get together with the other county mayors from the region to discuss issues and learn more about the area's assets. This week, we went behind the scenes at Neyland Stadium and then at Jewelry Television. Thanks to both organizations for their hospitality. Monday was the kickoff of Knox County's Holiday Festival of Lights at the Cove at Concord Park. Thanks to the hard work of everyone at Parks and Rec, you can enjoy over three quarters of a mile of light displays along the Cove's walking paths. The Festival of Lights is open every evening until New Year's Eve, except of course Christmas Day. Santa Claus will be there on Fridays and Saturdays. All of this is open and free to the public. We do ask that you bring a canned goods or monetary donation to benefit the Love Kitchen. This month's Employees of the Month are Tanya Key from IT and Russ Lonis from Procurement. Thanks to Tanya and Russ for your hard work. Until next Friday, I hope everyone has a great week.